Well, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I don't know if you guys have heard, but now I am part of Karate Combat Season 4 with Boss Rudin and GSP as a sensei, which is pretty cool because they're having their first Season 4 fight this Saturday. So go check it out on karate.com. Now, with that said, you guys are now a part of our official Karate Combat Technique Tuesday. Okay, but seriously though, I've been doing hours and hours of research watching every fighter, competitor of Karate Combat. There's one technique that I noticed over and over again. There, there, this technique was just putting people to sleep. It's not a common technique, but it's a technique that we talked about before with a slight modification. Let's get into the Karate Combat Technique Tuesday. What up, everybody? <laughs> so before I get into the technique, how to throw it, and the optimal time to throw the technique for maximum KO potential, let me call my man Sweet T! Two things, sweet tea. Number one, um, that gi is too small. Number two, why? Because that's my gi. No, the box said. No, you had too much man meat hanging out of this thing. But when they said. No, it, it, it's not for you. It's for me. But you know what? You look sharp. You look sharp. You're gonna wear. I the thought gi, they just tea. got my size wrong. <laughs> Get over here. All right, sweet tea. We talked about this technique before. We're gonna modify it a little bit, but it's called the rich hand, y'all. Now. It's like the ultimate karate technique, right? Yeah. You got the chops, the open hand techniques, the judy chops, the karate chops, and then you have the ridge hand. Pop's favorite techniques. Yeah, the they ridge name hand. the technique after Pop's. That's right, Pop and ridge hand. That's how. That's the order that it went in. Uh, yeah, that's right. Anyway, the ridge hand. Now there is going to be a simple modification to this, right? Yeah. Instead of an open hand technique. It's gonna be a closed hand. Technique. Beautiful, I love it. Why? What? What? What makes the closed hand more durable than the open well, hand? Well, number one, you got you got gloves on, right? We, there's no there's no thumb protection, so you gotta watch out with hitting with the thumb. A unless you do a lot of conditioning, some of these karateka guys do a lot of hand conditioning, so maybe that's why they're not hurting themselves. But if you notice, a lot of these guys are hitting with the inside edge of the wrist instead of the actual fist itself. Back yep. in the day, they did use kind of that knuckle, but they spent hours and hours, like years, developing that part of the hand to take that punishment. We don't have the time of the day to do that. But if you're interested, we do have a hand conditioning video on that. So go check that out above. Fighting stance, sir. Fighting stance, sir. So we're going to use the backhand, obviously. You can use the front hand, maximum power with the backhand. On this, I recommend using the inside edge of that wrist slash form means you gotta get a little closer. You can use the fist, but if you're not conditioned, you're gonna hurt yourself. And that rich hand, you're aiming from the jaw down to the trap, right there. You're gonna wake me up, right? Sorry, man. <laughs> Got it back. Got you. Uh, about the pressure points, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Yeah. So that's <coughs> what you're aiming for. Now, if you're using the wrist, right? Bull I mean, shiatsu. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you, you can hit to the head, I mean, you can hit the jaw area, but you really want to aim for that soft tissue right here, from the jaw down to the trap. Rip inside edge of the wrist, keeping the arm slightly bent so you don't hyperextend that elbow. Would not be good in a street situation or in a competitive situation, just letting you know. Use, obviously, you got to pivot. you got to turn the back foot, the hips, the shoulders, getting maximum power. Now, there's, a, there's one thing you don't want to do. That's reach way back here. By the time I hit this guy with this rich hand, he's done punching me in, this, in the face 80 million times. Wing Chun style. So what you want to do, it's like you want to take that hand right over the shoulder, right? Right over the shoulder, last telegraph, and then I rotate in using the inside of that form. Knock out instantly. At least that's the traditional way to throw that technique, but what these guys are doing in a combat situation, the target is slightly off, which is one of the reasons I believe they're having so much success with this ridge hand in karate combat fights. WB drop knowledge. All right, guys, we're going to go closed stance first. Two ways to set this bad boy up. Number one, this guy's gonna throw a back leg 
front kick. Or any kick. A lot of straight in kicks, you can land this ridge hand. So you're gonna use the back leg front kick, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I can take my front hand, I can parry it off to the side. I can also use my front arm to parry it off to the side as well. But I'm stepping in right after I parry that leg off, which is gonna off balance this guy right into the ridge hand. He front kicks, I parry off to the side. As he's setting that foot down, I'm coming over the top. Boom! And they're landing right in this area here, right on that chin. So once again, front kick, parry, boom, bang! And it's almost right at Woo! the same time. So as he throws the kick, you already know. Throw the kick, you already are coming with the ball. You right? know it's coming. And it doesn't matter. You're just swinging at the skull. And like I said, with enough power, it doesn't matter where you hit him in the noggin. Especially when you got all down. that weight behind you. It's the geese too small. They oh, sent the wrong is. size. All right, all right. Setup number two, we're gonna go with an open stance. We gave you a closed stance scenario. Now we're gonna go open stance. His right foot, my left foot, here we go. Now a guy's gonna throw a jab. Most common technique in any fight sport, the jab. And this is how, this is the setup that you saw the most in karate combat and getting those solid KOs. Yeah. His opponent steps in to throw that jab. Now I'm getting my head offline, right? Slip into the outside of that jab, staying away from that power hand. Now, same time, this is where your time has gotta be on point, sweet team. So as soon as he steps in with that jab, I'm slipping, hand comes right over top, hitting him right in the jaw or neck area, putting him to sleep instantly. Here we go. He steps in with the jab, I'm slipping, boom! There goes the ridge hand. And it's tricky because the guy doesn't see it coming. He doesn't see it coming. Normally, most guys will throw the jab and they'll try and come over top, but this one's coming underneath. So I can do this with my hands down, my hands kind of, you know, most of the karate guys have their hands here. And that plays into the effectiveness of the ridge hand because the back hand tends to not be up on the jaw. So as they throw the jab, the back hand is down. Boom, getting smoked in the chin piece. Woo! Man, Rough dude. KOs, man. So let's go over one more time. Close stance, sweet tea. Throws the front kick, stepping in, pairing, boom, bang. Ridge hand. Don't hit with the fist, hit with the inside of the wrist. Then, open stance, throws the jab. Honestly, it really doesn't matter. If you have picked up on what hands they like to throw, you can use as a counter for really any punch. Anything. He throws that jab, steps into the inside, boom! Well, there you have it, guys. Sweet T, I just wanna let, let you know you are, you are looking, you're looking buff, sir. Thanks, man. That's what I like to hear. Are we gonna see you in cardio combat? If they ever get the uh, super heavyweight division, I'm there. He's there. The first Karate Combat event of season four is going down this Saturday. Head over to karate.com to watch the event live there. It is headlined by USA Karate Kyle Ross Turbo Levine, point fighter, glory kickboxer. He will be taking on Igor De Castaneda. It's gonna be a banger. Banger! First event this Saturday. Check it out and again, WB is the sensei. So he's gonna be doing stuff with that. I'm super pumped about this whole thing. I really just need to talk to the head of the promotion so that I can actually get the proper size uniform. <laughs> the headband looks good though. I'll let you know that sweet tea. I bought this set up. Anyway, yeah. got, oh, you got that where? Amazon. Was it passed down? Don't make fun of me. I love you, dude. Anyway, guys, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications to let you guys know when our next upload is. Throw some comments down below, guys. We love you. Thank you very much for all your support. Peace!